Hi, my name is Chloe and in this video tutorial I'd like to show you how to run header settings using Customizer. All the header settings are captured in Customizer section named Header. It includes Style settings, Top Panel settings, Header Contact Block and Main Menu settings. Let's view all of them and I would start with Top Panel. Top Panel includes Next options. Switch on or off Top Panel, set the Top Panel text, set the background color, Switch on or off top menu. If you switch on enable top panel option, in the top right corner you'll see the social menu block. To activate it, go to Menus, Menu Locations and select Social menu. In the same top right corner, Social Network buttons will appear. Now let's talk about Header Contact Block. Here you can globally show or hide contact block and set all the contact information you need. Next section is Styles. Here you can manage how top panel, header contact information and header in bulk are shown. Let me tell you about layout styles. Seven predefined styles designed especially for Monstroid Square. Each of these styles affects header layout, shifts layout items positions and makes an impact on their styling. Also, Section Styles includes additional options for header-specific item settings. For example, you can show or hide Call to Action button. At the end of customizing, don't forget to click on the Save and Publish button. Now all the changes have come into action. By the way, all the header settings can be set specifically for each page. In order to do it, you should open the needed page, press Edit Page and scroll to Block Page Settings. Here you can also find a header layout block. The same layouts as you have seen in Customizer are available here too. Header layout, header overlay, invert color scheme. After you have changed all the needed settings, click on Update. As you can see, the header layout has changed. Overlay and Invert Color Scheme options are put on. Also, you can switch on or off header elements. Just in several clicks you can create a minimalistic and stylish header on the needed page, while your home page stays static. Thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned!